Also live streaming on the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy channel. I want, I need more view hours there on that channel for, uh, so I can monetize it. As soon as I monetize it, 100% of all ad revenue goes towards a charitable organization. Peter wrapped that door switch in electric tape. What door switch? On the, on the furnace? No, let's go outside. All right, no one's watching, only 26 seconds and let's go, let's go and say hi. Peter, grab, grab one of the phones. Grab that one. We're going to take a thumbnail with uh, Kevin. Keith. Oh, I keep forgetting his name. Kevin, Fuck. Okay. All right. Here we are. And by the way, in beautiful, beautiful western Pennsylvania. I don't know, but with the sun behind you, probably. We're not going to use it as a thumbnail, though. You know that, right? Okay. We'll have to use them. They did all the work. Well, they can uh, use Justin. He's more photogenic than myself. See? That's we are in... Apparently not. They say it looked like fucking John Fetterman. We're in... <laughs> <laughs> you need to find out who that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? We're going you know, to break his kneecaps. Gonna like that guy who told me to blow him, we're going to oh, break, yeah, yeah, yeah. break his kneecaps. <laughs> they don't know who they're messing with. All right. Um, here's Kevin. Keith. Keith. Fudge. It's a there's Justin. There's Craig. And there's Peter. And we, here we are in the Appalachian Mountains, kind of, right? Foothills, yeah. right? There's Mount. Where you burn everything. We burn yeah, everything. And shit. a huge shout out to the folks over at Bosch, Thermal Technology, especially my man, Sal Brunetto. I hope I'm not chopping up his last name, but it's Brunetto, Sal Brunetto. Yeah, He's an what, Italian what, guy. What Bonetto. Bonetto? Mm -hmm. Oh. He's an Italian Sal guy. Sal he's the yeah. he's the national <laughs> director of sales for combustible products. And when I reached out to him Monday, a week ago today. You have to, you, why are you even calling me to ask me? Of course, it's yours. Whatever you want. That's what. That's why we love Bosch. Hashtag love Bosch. And it's Brunetto. Brunetto? Yeah. You found him on uh, LinkedIn. Sal, yeah. That's him. National sales manager. That's him. Yeah. He's, a, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. But uh, here we are. Look at that. The sun is behind me. Oh, look at that. It's a great picture. Say hi. Hey. Hi. All right. So we have 22 people watching. We have Peter. Wow, look at that nice hole. That's a nice hole. <laughs> we aim to please. I can see that. Past dependable service no matter how long it takes. You know, Justin said your camera's shy too, by the way. What's I don't that? get it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a good face for radio. All right, guys. I want you guys to, to donate to the Mikey Pipe Philanthropy um, PayPal page. It's a tax deductible donation if you really need it, but you really shouldn't. Just, just donate. Twenty bucks, ten bucks, twenty bucks, hundred bucks. Whatever you feel like donating, do it right now. There's a link down uh, in all the videos. I can't have the QR code because I'm actually on the phone with the QR code on it, but um, we're good. But hopefully, I want to keep this live stream going because I need four thousand watch hours uh, just bring it on the in flight. order to in order to monetize the channel because we have the views. You know, we get thousands upon thousands of views, and only like there's only four videos up or five videos up, but we need the four thousand watch hours. So sharing is caring. Break, tell your friends to come over, watch on both computers on the Mikey Pipes channel and on this one. Let's go inside. Let's not neglect anything. By the way, it's like eighty degrees out here. By the way, yeah, uh, I want to actually. If we know people over at uh, was it Pool Kings, the guys on HGTV, they they they, they put in pools. Maybe they could donate this guy a pool. That'd be a nice six spot, right? At Infinity Edge pool right now. Oh. Nice. Be, it would be epic. Okay. I'm trying to. Yeah. I'm try, I remember what channel is this? Is yeah. the Mikey Pies Philanthropy Super channel? Terrific. Yeah, oh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, let's go inside where we are here. Look at this beautiful install, by the way. Wow, Justin does phenomenal, phenomenal work. Look at this. The the, the three quarter PVC uh, for the condensate. Oh, the April Air media filter. The return uh, boot right there. The electric. Look at this. Even got the little clips to hold it in place. Look at me smile like a little little schoolboy. It's nice. It's really nice. Thank you. They gave us a three quarter line set. Yep. Good. Very very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look at the. Uh, Okay, we still have 105 people watching, and we have 35 watching here. He sent me a link in the oh, they're awesome. There it is. Thank you very much. The other channel, live stream links. Hit the like button over there, too. Thank you, Hookie fan. Appreciate it. 
Make the thumbnail in front of the new equipment. Yes, I will, Nanology. We will definitely do that. Omar Ali, thank you so much for your donation before. I really appreciate it. Do my computer, do you play, guys play golf? We can do a round at Beth Page when you guys are free from saving the world from hacks. I'm not good. I like no, that. I don't I don't think I can even hit the ball. I like the By the way, how's your hole? There's your hole. There's another hole coming. Stay tuned. Hole part two is coming. By the way, this guy's driver. Look at the gas cocks. Oh, <laughs> it's a gate valve for gas. That's what happens when you have no. By the way, you have some sh schmutz on your uh, thing. Yeah, you should just like take it off and like. Yeah, I'll hey. wash it when I get okay, you don't have to wait, clean it off. You know, but look at the gas cock. <laughs> right here, look there. There are two, and we did this one on the fly. Well, Justin did it. Nice job, all right, all right, all right. Nice gas cock. Nice, nice, nice. But he did nice. Look at this. Did nice. I would have added a few things. I would have added the the the, the condensate trap on the condensate I'll switch. In case that it backs up, I would have done that. Other than that, really, really nice. We're going to do fresh air and uh, exhaust with a two-inch PVC. A couple elbows, secure that up there. But, uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much. We have 33 people watching. Uh, 16 thumbs up. Really, really, really nice. Let me plug in the power here. Get some juice. I'm going to show you guys the, the mountains. This is where we are, guys. Right there. Right there. Now I can just keep it there. We can get the view. I want the, oh, cool. I need the watch hours. Yeah. I need the watch hours. So we're going to have this one streaming there. We're plugged in. How's our battery looking? Oh, uh, oh. We should bring him outside. Let's bring him outside. Want to bring him outside? Let's yeah. go outside. Guys, you want to come outside? Smash that thumbs up if you want to go outside. Come on. Smash. Nice. <laughs> on the other channel. Yeah. The gas cock? Yeah, nice, nice gas cock. Seven hundred pound rating. That's right, baby. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Fucking Osho will be here before we get your video on. Excellent. Thank you. Where's the news? Where's the news uh, media? I want to see the. Where's the news? Huh? Who'd you call? Jamie Curry and the media account. Your phone numbers? Hold on. You have to have people on 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 the on the. Uh, the ones, the viewers, let's have them call. If everyone calls and bombards, like, Mikey uh, Pipes is this freaking Vander yeah. Rift, like, Pennsylvania. Aaron, 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 Everyone call me Steve Lab. Everyone call me Steve Lab. I gotta get the other one. Oh, fuck is Steve? I'm nice to him. You guys are missing it, by the way. For all those who are watching right now, uh, he looks like Steve Lab, and he's on the computer. Uh, let's bring. I'm gonna bring you guys inside. Um, outside, sorry. So, uh, yeah. We're in the, uh, 
We're in Vandergrift, Pennsylvania, Western PA. We 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 burnt. Oh, can I burn this too? Yeah, burn this. I'm burning this. Too. Come on. Yeah, Miss Molly and 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 Steve right here. His name is Steve. It's Keith, Kevin, Keith, right? Damn, K. Keith. He also has a dog named Miss Molly. <laughs> Epic, by the way. Epic. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's he has a dog named Miss Molly. Yes, he does. <laughs> I kid you not. We have to go see Miss Molly. You want to bring the phone up to see Miss Molly? What are you scared, Miss Molly? Which one's Miss Molly? The the older one. Is the flame still? Uh... Yeah. Hold on. Wait. We have stuff that didn't burn. I got my brunt boots on. Ah. Ah. Okay. Let's get it in there. No. Oh my God. I thought smoking was gonna kill me. <laughs> see? We're here and there's cows. Where'd the cows go? The horses. There they are. Look, see the horses? Oh yeah, yeah. Can I, I can't zoom in on this? Yeah, I can. See the horses? Stealing. Yeah. Sexual predator? Uh, oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. The cop, the cop from this area, he blew his arm off in a fireworks accident with cheap. Really? And then a year later, he was arrested for a sexual predator. Oh, is it Chris Hansen again from Dateline NBC? No. Oh, that would have been better. Got him that way, oh, man. <laughs> the sheriff? Oh. Uh, I'm not positive. I'm muted. Okay. Uh, Unmuted. People want to listen. You got to feed the people. Holy sh... That's a fire. You do not want to get close to that. Why not? You can see the heat. Wow. They throw it in there. <laughs> I know. Let me go the opposite way, too. I don't want to die from the... What stream? Is a stream? I have to clean it? Is that your dog? Whose dog is that? There's another dog over there. Oh, that's cute. That's an Australian Yeah? Border Collie? No, it's one of those Hybrid dogs? Yeah. Hybrid dogs? There's nothing wrong with hybrid dogs. But Molly's a hybrid dog. Well, Miss Molly? Upstairs? Yeah. Look at that dog. Oh, he's quiet. Yeah. He's chilling. See? We're not joking. We in the sticks. I'm gonna go up the hill. Oh my God, it's a schlep. By the way, if this was New York, that would've been gone a long time ago. Oh man. Man, up the hill is hard. Let's take a look at this fur coat. Let me shine some light in there. You guys can't appreciate what's going on right here. Look at that. That's some nasty stuff. That's metal in your lungs. So if you need some Mongo, we're over here on Airport Road in Vandergrift. See? <laughs> we're here. Mike, you should sell ICP and Bosch. That was sold as new, yes. So the evaporator. Don't you don't lose Wi-Fi. The evaporator was sold to him last year as a new evaporator coil. And what's really effed up is that if you look on the sticker here, there's the sticker. Look at the date code. That says May 96 with a test pressure of 300 psi. Vaping like a it's going out of style. No, we got Wi-Fi. We got Wi-Fi? Okay, good. Very nice. Nice little 800 square foot house. Very nice. Now remember, don't don't barter. Don't sell the, the Bosch. No. Okay, don't. Pulling it for a new CBR? I don't do that. <laughs> so nice. How, how, how long does this road go, by the way? 1.7 to the... What is that? Is that a farm all the way over there? It's a big farm. Oh yeah, that's 
that used to be an old farm over there. They they still have some steer and stuff. Okay. Hey baby. Gracie. Yeah, so we're at mile marker 1423 over here on Airport Road in Vandergrit. Like huh? Sounds like a train fan. Uh oh. Mile marker. Mile marker. That's a good, cute dog. All right. Should we go say hi to Miss Molly? Who wants to say hi to Miss Molly? If you want to say hi to Miss Molly, let me get your thoughts and feedback. Um, and let's uh, get some thumbs up here, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. We have 38 people watching, only 26 thumbs up. Let's get them thumbs up going. I'm going to go show you guys Miss Molly. Okay. I'm going to show them Miss Molly. Let's go. Come on. Ready for Miss Molly? And that's the bottom of the stairs, by the way. So keep that in mind. All right. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. Miss Molly. Hi, Miss Molly. Hi. <laughs> Hi, doggies. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're a good dog. Come here. Come here. All right, 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 right. Come here. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, guys. We're going back down. Maybe they had a Jack Russell. Okay. Let's go back downstairs. I put the Bosch BCC 100 thermostat on the wall upstairs. We changed out a circuit breaker in here. 100 amp service. Transfer switch. Take a look at this install in case you in case you missed it before. Look at this beautiful install, beautiful, beautiful work right here. Beautiful, love it, absolutely love it. And there's Steve Lab. <laughs> All right, yeah. So there's Peter. Yep. Wow. So in case you're just tuning in, um, <clears throat> a, uh, last Sunday, I uh, opened a letter I received from the son of the homeowner. He's 42 years old. He uh, has functional autism. And uh, he lost his mother um, about a month and a half ago. She fell down those stairs and it was a fatal accident. Um, he is, uh, well, used to be a first responder EMT, maybe when he was more functional at one point, and, um, her head, her cranium was split open at the bottom of those stairs there, and, um, may God rest her soul. Uh, how long ago did your mother pass? 12, 21, 22. Oh, so yeah, four months ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, um, he was home at the time. Yeah, I was right. She slipped? Right she, what happened? Did she, number. did she slip or something? You don't know. Just she just lost her balance. And she just plummeted down. No, she didn't hit any steps at all. That's wow, terrible. That's, scary. that's terrible. I guess your father was at work, probably, and you were home. So I got this letter. In case you're just tuning in, um, he sent me a letter. Um, I don't know, last, a week and a half ago. I just, I just threw out a spitball. Yeah, and uh, he sent me this letter, and which I have. Uh, it's inside. Yeah, and. Um, you know, you have this old furnace that's not not doing what it's supposed to be doing anymore. And uh, I was like, you know what? I called him up, and it was an emotional conversation for both of us. It really was. Um, I said, listen, I don't know how I'm going to do it because you're in – it's not like you're in Philadelphia. If you were in Philadelphia, I guess, you know, we could drive there a couple hours. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Poconos, whatever. But I had no idea how we are going to make this happen. No idea. Oh, okay, good. Oh, Normally shit. it drops off. Oh, no, it didn't drop off. Oh, see, you lost it. Oh, shit. Oh, schnizzers. So I, I called him on the phone. We created a little video. It's on this channel. And um, I put a video on YouTube on the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy channel. I also did a little post on the Mikey Pipes channel, on the regular Mikey Pipes Pipe channel. And lo and behold, not even an hour later, 
this gentleman right here, Justin, from Precision Heating and Cooling Services in Plum, Plum Pennsylvania. Plum. He only has seven five-star Google reviews. He needs to have a boatload more. A boatload more. What he's doing and donating his time is just beyond. Beyond. Unfortunately, people don't do that anymore. People don't give back, you know, pay it forward. But he has, and he is, him and Craig. It's really nice, and you know what? God bless him. You know what? It's something about his parents. You raise, they raised in the right way, that's for sure. Probably hates his parents. So. You hate your parents, or you love your parents? No love, comment. Love one, hate one. Okay, I was going to say, your parents raised, 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 you, raised you right. My dad raised you right. There yeah. you go, see? Like Air Force's nun's mother, you know? She's a crackhead meth head, you know? <laughs> me, and, me and uh, your kid have a lot of common. Oh, I'm sorry. Crackhead. Yeah, I'm sorry. She's not, she's not anymore, but now she's dying, so. Oh, that's... Well, Daniel, Let's see what Daniel needs. Put him on speaker. Yeah, put him on speakerphone. So, um, I uh, so that was fr that was Sunday. Sunday. Um, Here, this video will start. I don't know. Oh, does you have to go like this? Maybe. Uh, yeah, the stream. There I, you could, go. I could throw you on speaker. <coughs> yeah, what's he, up? He's on live stream. Just gonna... <coughs> yeah. Stand. Is it, is it something important? We're back. Thank you. Okay. What does he need? It's, it's more on the importance. Oh, so here, take this. You talk to them. Hi. Hello. What are you doing there? Okay. Great job, gentlemen. Steve Lab Jr. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they sold him that um, coil. They told him that they put a new one and they just lied to him. Basically. Yeah. Here we are. Maybe condensate from the bottom of the heat exchanger. How's the bottom of the heat exchanger Okay. Any warpage on the secondary heat exchange? This is the outdoor unit. You know, the black with the black. Okay. No, no instead copies. coming through okay. here. Yeah. You can see inside. I would, uh, you know what? You, you, you can call And then we have our venting your, uh, right here. Your, you know, JM mechanical. You know, and, I think uh, I did it super, super blah, neat. Blah, blah, stack blah. right on top. Two perfect oh, holes. You want to do that? Yeah. Looking good so far. Should be done in like around an hour. By the way, we call, we, 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 we call them Kevin Durant now. Oh. oh. <laughs> Kevin Durant. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll tell Mike to reach out to News 12. The nan 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 Nanology guy yeah. keeps saying to reach out to News 12. Honestly, I think that's a good idea because... They always feature uh, local Yeah. Places. Make sure you reach out to News 12 when you guys back in New York. Okay, it's a good idea. Great job, gentlemen. So we, did I finish the story? Um, no. no. So Sunday, last Sunday, a week ago yesterday, I created a video on the philanthropy channel with the letter, and I kept him on the phone. It's, it's, it's an emotional phone call. He's in tears. I'm a little bit, you know, wet in the eyes a little bit, and... You know, it's, uh, it's, it's nice to help people that, you know, need a hand every so often. And I told him, I don't know how I'm going to do it. So I, an hour after I posted the video, Justin reaches out to me. He's like, listen, I'll, I'm your installer. I was like, okay, perfect. Thank you so much. I was like, I haven't gotten the equipment yet, but worst case scenario, I'll buy the equipment. And it's like, and if, if I can't get a hold of Bosch, well, Bosch doesn't want to donate the equipment, I'll buy it. Whatever you, if you deal with American Standard Train, maybe we'll get a discount from them. Maybe we'll talk to a distributor. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, I called Sal Brunetto at, uh, at Bosch. Uh, he's the national director of sales for combustible products, which is furnaces and boilers and things like that. And he goes, uh, without, without question, it's like, when I have a hesitation in his, in his voice, he goes, you even asking me this? I'm like, of course. 
I'm like, whatever you want. I was like, how about we put in like the, the cheaper brand? I was like, no, 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 no. He goes, I already see the comments. <laughs> That's what he tells me. I already see the people comments. Oh, Bosch is cheaping out. Don't give them the, the high end premium product. They give them the, the light version, yeah. like the IDS 1. Point, whatever it's called, right? The light. Um, but and now we're here. I booked two tickets. Me and Peter. Uh, we flew from LaGuardia. And listen, he, out of pocket. You know, I'm here. You know, I'm, he's getting paid. I'm not. You know, I'm just donating my time. But out of pocket, out of my own personal pocket, I booked flights on Delta. We booked two hotels in the Marriott. I did a meet and greet yesterday evening uh, till midnight at the at the lobby bar with eight people showed up uh, for subscribers from the channel. And now here we are. It's I don't know twelve forty. It's almost one. Right. Almost one o'clock. And we check out at the hotel at four, and we have a flight at seven, mm -hmm. back to New York, back to New York, and hopefully we made a difference in this family's life. Definitely, um, and that's what it's all about. So smash that thumbs up button, guys! Come on, fifty-three people are watching. Let me bring you back inside. <sighs> oh, oh shit! He's here already. Get out of here. You got there already with the line set? Oh uh, yeah, I didn't know the... I, I went you went the, the smart route. I went the smart route. Oh yeah, very smart. Wow. This freaking guy is a, is a beast. Look at this. That's it. He's a beast. The other one went up and around. Da, 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 da. That's, and that's above the cabinet, above the refrigerator. And we have an inverted trap. There you go. Huh. Wow. You can be really proud of yourself. Amazing, amazing work. This is the first line set I ran. <laughs> <laughs> Today. <laughs> Today. <laughs> in case you're just tuning in, uh, that's a gas cock right there. It's a, it's a half inch uh, gate valve. <laughs> that's, there's no codes that they follow here, right? No. no. I'm in your way. Let me get the phone. No, 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 no. I was, I'm thinking. Gate valve, which means gate. Like that. <laughs> and Justin did that one. On the fly, I might add. On the fly. Yeah, that's the way we do it, man. Well, half inch to one inch. Don't be scared. When did the ball valve come out? Oh, yeah, um, you have to look on the live stream. You'll see it there. 25 BC. No, it, was it was before the, the sparks from the short on the line. When did the ball valve come Oh, I don't know. I don't think this was ever legal for gas. Really? Yeah, because you had... you had for water. It says W-O-G on it? No. It says TJ on it. No, that means water. No, I don't know. It's a brass valve. It is brass. Yeah. It says TJ on it. What? 62 people watching, 37 thumbs up. People are just retarded. TJ Hooker with Heather Locklear. Ooh, Heather Locklear. Wow. Does so, she yeah, still have her OnlyFans? No way, really? Was it Locklear? Who, who's on? Oh, no, not, not Locklear. It's, uh, it's you know, Richards. Uh, you know, Frankie, Frankie two times, right? Is starting his, his only channel, uh, is, is, is a thing called only naps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sleep apnea. Sleep apnea. Oh, that was his, that was an excuse? No, there's no oh, excuse. No. His uh, excuse was that he was out partying was the night before both nights. Oh, uh, I thought he was. No, there's no, there's no, there's no, the only excuse is the, uh, the bottle. The bottle loves him. The honey? Oh, Honey, hmm, could have called, called that one. You know, it's, it's whatever. It's his own loss. <laughs> but I'm, I was very disappointed that you actually thought that was acceptable, showing late, to, being late to class, a paid class that I paid for. Put him in a plane. Put him in a hotel. Rented a car. Covered all expenses and paid him, yeah. so he can better himself. And he effed that up. So what was you know. your car for the first time? Oh, you said playing not, not playing well with others. <laughs> you know, in kindergarten, you got a report card. You know. Satisfactory or needs improvement? Yeah, his was like plays well with others. <laughs> F. <laughs> yeah, he he. I fired him when I was in St. Thomas. All right, fifty nine oh, people, forty one thumbs up. Come on, guys. Anyone commenting? Let's see. Mike, this is better than reality TV. People love seeing people in true in true help, in true need to be helped by others. And HVAC is critical and expensive. Yes, this is. In the line sets. This is, uh, there are companies in New York that I kid you not charge forty to fifty thousand dollars for this installation right here. Seriously, um, this is really really nice work. 
really, really nice. Sherry Jackson goes, hi, Mickey Pipes. Hi, Peter. I'm watching you from Ham Hampton, Ontario. <laughs> Hamilton, Ontario, sorry. Alan Smith, nice work. That's a nice half-inch cock. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Polish. That's, all you, that's all you're born with. Exactly. Big difference. Make sure you reach out to News 12. Yeah, okay, I've read those already. Am I in the way? No. Not yet. I will be soon, though, soon, though. Someone told me that I should have recorded Frankie snoring for a ringtone. Yeah. So we're live streaming with 82 people. Oh, some people jumped ship and went here. That's fine, though, because I want the views. I need I need the view time on oh, this channel. Those fuckers. What? Nothing. You missed the little pieces? Yeah. Yeah. Love Bosch. Hashtag love Bosch. Do it now. You should do that. Right? You should do that right now. Because let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go here. Let's go to banners. Let's go to there. All right. Let's go edit. Let's do. Let's keep that. Let's do hashtag love Bosch. Okay, let's save. All right, and show. There it is. Right there. Love Bosch. Good stuff. Tell the viewers to open both streams and just mute one. This gets you views on both channels. Yes, guys, you guys uh, open up. Um, open up another screen, open up the other, uh, channel, um, right. and that way, mute one, and we could, um, get more views. Watching from Melbourne, Florida. I thought it was Melbourne, uh, Australia. I'm working on a Mitsubishi ductless system, new install, looks like you guys are having fun. Dude, uh, I didn't bring any Steve Lab is cold. Hey, uh, Do you know Bruce oh, Barlett? No, Bruce Barlett, No. I can make the trades great again. I've been watching you live in Ham Hamilton until at work, but I have to get off now because I have a coffee break. It has ended to go back to work. Okay, thank you, Sherry. Watching since 9 a.m. Yep, I'll donate $10 if you blow everyone in the basement. What? I'll donate $10 if you blow everyone in the basements, even though Eve's throw and go. Hey, it's me, Mikey Pipes, here in Buddy's basement, blowing the eardrums off everyone. What? That oh, didn't make any oh, sense. Oh, oh. Ian, Ian Douglas. What does that mean? It's a hater. No, it's not oh, a hater. No. Eardrums. Oh, blowing everyone's eardrums. Okay. How about this, Ian? I will do it for twenty bucks. I'll blow in everyone's ear. And I'll blow in everyone's ear. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know, Craig. Uh, I, I think you said to scream. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Like oh, it's me, Mikey Pipes. Right. I should do that. Okay, well, let's do that. Ready? I think you just said scream okay. in the basement. Right. It's me, Mikey Pipes. I, think I, did, uh, I don't know if you meant to whisper to scream it. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Yeah. I think you meant to shout it. Shout it. 20 is the deal. Okay. I did it twice. Did I do it twice already? Yeah, that's twice. That's twice. These guys are, are working right now, though, but well, let's, let's bother Craig. <laughs> it's me, Mikey Pipes. Hey, hey. Long time to see. <laughs> what you got? We're doing it for 20 bucks. <laughs> it's me, Mikey Pipes. Okay. 20, send it 20. Ian, I just did it. Send twenty dollars. Send it. Remember, I, I licked the wall at the on Christmas Day, and <laughs> the uh, pipe yeah, that first. Yeah, yeah. Someone sent me. He actually sent me ten dollars in the mail. Ten dollar bill. I licked the uh, it was like twenty twenty four volt wire. Or whatever. Yeah, you did it for a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> what can we hold on? What could you do right now? I like one hundred twenty volts for like hundred. <laughs> really? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't think you'll do that. There's no way. You'll do it once. Yeah. I got a dog. It's only weird. You got what? Pick up a piece of dog food for hundred bucks. With your bare hands? Yep. We'll do what? Will you pick up a piece of dog poop for a hundred bucks? No, that's that's, that's butter. I'll do it. You'll do it? Yeah, yeah. It's the heating company. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching poop for five hundred bucks. Oh man, come on. I'll be looking. I'll be Drop that, to Ian. Eardrums. I did it. I'll I did an eardrums. Dog turds for a hundred bucks. Jeff, Jeff Monroe says, Ian, you got to drop that 20 bucks, Ian. You got to drop it. Got to jump on the neighbor's horse with no saddle. No, no bridle either. Oh, no. I'll, jump I'll, on a neighbor's horse with no saddle. 
<laughs> that sounds like like a, a porn genre, by the way. <laughs> well, you know, back. <laughs> That's a head injury waiting to happen. Yeah, no helmets either. How are we doing with the comments over there? 85 people are watching. Almost five hours into it, by the way. We have 64 people watching right here. And only 40, 50 thumbs up. Very good. Smash that thumbs up, ladies. Oh, Bruce is a Platsky employee. Oh, is he? He does the seminars for Jones. Oh, yeah. Is he watching? Seminars. Is that the guy that did our seminar? When, when Maybe. We to Bosch? Maybe. Maybe. Me, you, Danny, Chris? Maybe. Air Force you did your Maybe. Mitsubishi seminar, you need to rethink that. <laughs> or no, Fujitsu. Fujitsu. No, so the problem with Fujitsu's classes are that they're just sales classes. That's, well, what, that's what Danny said. Well, we had a service class. We had a service class. Oh, really? Oh, yep. fuck. Oh. Chris, uh, what the fuck was his name? Chris something or So now the question is now, now that they're running the 3 8s, it's like, where do they locate the filter driver? We well, gonna... did inside. Oh, very, very smart. Nice. It doesn't rust out in here. That's right. Yeah, that's smart. I used to put them outside until I learned something new that day, and I put them inside now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, to me, I really don't give a shit. Yeah. Well, either way, it's, you know, it's outside, job security. Inside, eventually it's going to do something. Yeah. I mean, it's, I know they say it should be closest to the coil, so. Yeah. And if you have to change it in the wintertime because it's something... It yeah. Is, you don't have to shovel snow. Oh, yeah, but he just donated 20 bucks on the street. Who did? He, he did. did. Ian! Hold on, look at that. He did it. Yes! Can't he did it. Roll wire and then... 20 Canadian. Oh, come on. What the hell, 20 Canadian? What, I didn't say yeah. Canadian. That's like Monopoly money. Oh, sorry, come on, Ian. What's the exchange rate? The exchange rate, I don't know. It's probably 11 It's, it's probably like four cents. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay now, next month. Actually, it now it, it might be more compared to for our fucking, the, the strength of our dollar. Yeah. That's going It's probably $20 and Buy two cents. One channel on the 75 inch, one on the phone. Love the content. Thank you so much. Mikey Trump needs pipe work done. <laughs> Trump? I'm an employee benefits consultant and I have a client meeting at one. Got to run. Great work. Thank you, A. Petro. Thank you. The Costanza, the whole Trump thing is a show for 2024. Let's try to keep politics off this channel, please. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, let's just uh, keep that. Let's keep that. Uh, let's keep that. Just uh, let's keep that pipes. You know, let's make the pi let's make the trades great again, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're doing. That's that's our objective here. And um, I am going to try to balance this right here, so I could just get this thing going. We always put the fill dryer inside in Florida. All right, 55 thumbs up. 64 people are watching. Now, I guess some people are watching on a, on, a, on a TV screen or what have you. They can't hit that thumbs up, but um, maybe consider donating. Donating to the, the cause. You said Justin Trudeau is taking everything he has. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, $20 delivered. Moisture, moisture indicator. No, no sight glass. No, five bucks US. Thank you very much. Is anyone donating anything recently? No. And my lawyer has not called me back either yet, either. Yeah, you can get sued. Yeah, whatever. Get in line. Yeah. Put max, the maximum amount it could be is with the hold, right? Yeah. No, I have, listen, I have the, yeah. the $100,242 in an account, and uh, but we have, uh, they're wrong. Yeah. You know, they, uh, they submitted this confession of judgment in, in violation of law. Because mm -hmm. I didn't talk, I didn't talk about it until they sent me stupid, stupid letters. Hey, go away, troll. <laughs> Five bucks for the CID for everything. Yeah. Five bucks US dollar. Is this Sadako? Yes. What's that? A donation charity. Uh... Yeah, come on. We, we try, in case you're just tuning in, Peter and I flew here yesterday Met Craig and Justin today at they were a little late. You know. Maybe they were, they were stuck in that in that pile up on uh, that was terrible. That high, oh, shit. Justin, did you hear what happened? Or did you see what happened? Uh, uh, on Vard Mill. On two seventy nine, what's it called? Two seventy nine, two seventy eight. That 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 road that I left Pittsburgh to get here with. Uh, no, no, no. There was a flatbed tractor trailer that was carrying like steel beams, and it toppled over and it covered all lanes of traffic. It's backed up for miles, a complete standstill. They, they, they were cranes and trying to get the, the, the beams off the road. Like you know, you know how you have the on ramp and off ramp at each exit. Yep. So cops were directing people on both both of them. 
the, the, the one way and then and the wrong way on like five exits before that. That's how fucked up. That's how, how that's up the traffic was. What's that? How did you beat us here? Oh, uh, we, we left. left at like six we left at six thirty. Yeah. We were told it takes an hour, hour and a half to get here. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I said eight, eight thirty, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But we got here like ten minutes to eight. No, we got here seven thirty-five. We oh, wow. kind of flew. Yeah, we kind of flew. I think we just beat the rush hour traffic. And yeah. the school buses. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we're almost done. Oh, we're going to run the, con- the PBC. Yeah. We, have, we have to leave here at like 2.45 the latest to check out. To check out by Bluetooth. Mm-hmm. No, our stuff is in the room. Ah. <laughs> I, I got a late checkout. I got 4 o'clock checkout. They wouldn't, they wouldn't give me 5. Yeah, yeah. Jerks. Yeah. Well, if you were booking a room for the furry convention, they would. <laughs> <laughs> they they sold out every every room for the furries, and that isn't one thing. fairy like water fairy or no, fairy like no, the gays. Furries. 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 Want people to dress up in. Oh, animals. furries. Yeah. What's a furry? It's like it's very like LGBTQ kind it, of. It's oh. it's a weirdo. They dress up in complete costume. They identify right? as like stuffed animals. Yeah. Something. They're fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> God. This it's, is what fu- furries and plushies or. Uh, yeah. I, I heard that and I was like, it made me want to vomit. <laughs> yeah, they dress up in costumes and fuck each they're other. Like, yeah, they, yeah, they role play. See, I guess the Japanese didn't get oh, yeah, enough smush in here. Ooh, overhyped, nothing there. Let's go for it. <laughs> the US dollar is almost as much as the Indian rupee. <laughs> <laughs> rupee, rupee. <laughs> wow, are we screwed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was 4,000 rupees for a candy bar 10 years ago. It's probably $4,000 for it. Oh. <clears throat> oh, did you hear where uh, Pooty and uh, Zing, Zing Pang Wang? Yeah, they had a powwow. Yeah, and they're going to change the oil dollar to the Chinese yuan or whatever. Really? It's going to take it out of the U.S. I, dollar. I, I think China's going to be done before we are. I think. I want to be optimistic. Yeah. Well, mm. It's a long empire. And throughout all history, all, all every single great empire comes to an end eventually. Yeah, we're getting there. I, I know. I hope it's China first, though. Hopefully it's North Korea first. I think China's going to take us over, honestly. Yeah, I think so, too. Because that's why they keep buying, buying all our buying our fucking shit, yeah. Yeah. Keep buying everything. Uh-huh. You know? And we let them. Now we get the tick They know they know everything we're doing. Yeah, but the government already knows that. Okay. Hey, well, well, the fucking government's in bed with them. <laughs> The Biden administration. I think they're just mad that they're getting all the information. Well, Hunter, Hunter's really in bed with them. Uh... Connor, what is his million dollar paintings? Yeah. <laughs> Molesting small Asian children. Uh, probably. Well, oh, no. if they would ever actually unseal the garbage that's on his laptop. Oh, yeah. we'll never, we'll never see I that. No. I just thought you a pretty good review. Thank you. Did you call the news, news panels again? No. We're about to be out of here. Almost done. Oh, there um, this is the end. That's the door so Perfect. Can we burn that? You can burn us. Burn us down. Yep. Okay. No, not you like not burning? No. No, no burning. No. So you had a Jack Russell? Yeah. Was his name Molly? <laughs> was his name Molly? Yeah. <laughs> was, it was Eddie <laughs> from Frasier. I like Jack Russell. Aren't they like terrors? Candy, yes. But they're cute terrorists. We had one that was you got one, didn't you? Is that what you got? No, I got a Chihuahua. Oh, you got... I got a Mexican cartel is that the terrorist. Second bottle or the first yeah, bottle? It's still the first one. I've been going easy on it. It's only a Coke problem when I run out. Yeah. yeah that's true. <laughs> the last one we had with that was epileptic, and it would always lay on top of the couch. Like on. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like where your head goes. And. We would have seizures every once in a while. And when it would have seizures, it would lose control of his facility, you know? Yeah. So he would be having a seizure on top of the house, and we'd see piss just go, oh. shoot now. <laughs> my, my great aunt had a Jack Russell blind and death. It's called LARPing. Oh, that's but, you know what that is? After early oh. Hunter uses organic cocaine paint every time he wastes his... Oh, he never wastes any material. He loves doing paint research. Don't 
Hunter's left. Organic cocaine. The South Park Christmas special. <laughs> Marijuana. Oh my god, he killed Kenny! Marijuana free contains Christmas snow. Christmas snow. Okay. Oh. You gotta watch you gotta watch the South Park Christmas special. I've never, Anything I've never South seen Park. one part of South Park. Yeah. You never no? did. All right, we have si we finally have more thumbs up than people watching. Sixty-five thumbs up, sixty-four. We can oh, actually nice. demonstrate what an old. Don't do too much coke on the job now. Like. Well, not looks like. But those furries like got cash money. Some of those suits cost ten to twenty thousand. By the way. Crazy. Wow, I like this furries. You say? Ignorant trolling. I don't know. Mike doing a good thing. Hey, go away. Hack it's lampathy. Pat McAfee. Hack, yeah. Oh, you heard of that before? He's a, he's a, he's a plum guy. Um, he won played uh, professional football, and he is a big... Uh, uh, oh, you have a lot more thumbs up. Now I have 71 thumbs up and 64 people watching. I'm not a he has his own podcast. He donates money to um, mom all the time. To mom? A uh, plum. Oh. Like plum sports and shit like that. Oh, in your town. Do you want to demonstrate to the viewers how an old-fashioned gate valve works? Okay. Here. Go, go, go attend to helicopter. <laughs> Steve. Steve left. <laughs> this is an old-fashioned gate valve. Watch the gate close. If I can get it closed. Yep. Here. Stay healthy, everyone. No drugs. Yep, no drugs. Hi from Washington State. My brother lives in Washington State. Do like a Q and A. Yeah. People should ask more questions. Okay. Want to do a Q and A? They got to send more questions. All right, let's do a Q and A. Um, shoot, we have sixty-eight people watching, seventy-three people um, with thumbs up, and he's got the uh, brazing rods here. Look at this. Something that Daniel hasn't seen in a very long time. Look at this. Stay bright. Stay bright. Look at I that. Saw video on it. He loves it. Does he? Yeah. It works. He did that leak. <laughs> he did have the leak, and you know what? That, that was that, that was the brand new carrier. That was the Infinity. That was the Infinity. That was a that was a very expensive system, by the way, and we had to re fully recharge that. I think that 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 cost oh, me. Like, that's like nine nine pounds of refrigerant. No, like more like sixteen pounds. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Latest thoughts on Ream? Um, I happen to love their their water heaters. I'm doing a Q and A. I got some insight to that. So I was just in Vegas, and there was a seminar. One of the guys from Ring was there, and anybody in the trades prepare because they are doing the way with most of their single stage units. Ring? So, yeah, they're, they got. They're, they said they're they're going to be proactive about it, and they're going to all two stage or variable speed compressors. Interesting. Joe Alcala. Mm -hmm. When did you get into HVAC? Um, so I've been plumbing for quite some time now. I did plumbing first, residential sur Well, first I did uh, the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy in Kings Point, New York uh, as a steam fitter apprentice. 
And then when that got uh, downsized to outside contractors from a federal government job, um, I worked for a uh, this guy named T.J. Anacaro Plumbing and Heating. Uh, they were based in Westbury, New York, and we did uh, multi-million dollar bathrooms and kitchens. Yeah, it was pretty pretty good stuff. And I was there for about almost two years. And then with my the other Mike, not the other Mike that works for me now, the other well, the other Mike that I was working with, told me he was leaving. He's getting a job somewhere else. And I was like, oh, I can't be here with Tommy alone. He's a he's a nut job. <laughs> he was like plumbing bosses are not nut jobs usually by the way right so i i got a job doing service plumbing mm -hmm. you know getting like literally double what i was making before and uh, i i was with uh, alice bezito in farmingdale and i worked there for quite some time farmingdale, he, farmingdale yeah he made me a, a five percent equity partner so right cool. to keep me there even though he was nuts but i learned a lot from him really did and um, one of the things that he did in the last two years I was there, he sent me to school for my Universal 608 certification. And I went to Suffolk County Community College. And uh, on a Wednesday evening for like four hours and on a Saturday all day. What campus were you at? Uh, Brentwood, right across from oh, Sagatos. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so that's how I got my, my, my formal training in HVAC. He didn't, and then he threw me to the wolves. Like, okay, here, just do installs. I'm like, I have no idea what I was doing. <laughs> None whatsoever. So that's to answer that question. What the fuck is this for? What? Uh, oh, that's that's the uh, the thing. That's the installation. What? To go wrap around the line set. No, I don't do that. I just pull the line set. Yeah, that's what all my people do. Yeah, but that's just, that's all it is. Foam insulation. Ah. Oh. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got the uh, wet rag. Yeah, uh, look at that one piece of line set. What's the worst smelling house you've ever been in? I am able to donate through YouTube Live, or do you need to use the different app? You can donate is. through uh, through YouTube. Um, on this channel, I don't think you can. Uh, if you hit the dollar sign, because I'm not signed up, I'm not a monetized channel yet. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this live stream right now, because I want the, the view hours. I need like 2,000 more view hours to get monetized on this channel. But um, you could donate through um, PayPal, through the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy Organization. And there's a QR code. Bless you. That was from One Shot Outdoors Hybrid. Reams hybrid water heater. I have no no opinion on that. any opinions on Reams hybrid. Nah, f, f that. What's, what's your opinion on the iconic? Iconic. So far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you heard about that, huh? <laughs> you saw. So. I love it as as a as a as a real pro as a real product that is that has a lot of promise. You know, it's not as good as Kevin Durant, in my opinion. But Kevin Durant's are no good. <clears throat> you know, so what's the worst smelling house you've ever been in? I think I know the answer to that. Okay. Did I tell you the story? Uh, I was a ha it was about maybe 15 years ago. I'm in a house in Bethpage, right off of Stewart Avenue. And it's a Cape, it's a Cape Cod style house. And there's an old lady who lives on the first, on, on, in the house. <clears throat> and I'm there for a, uh, a, a faucet issue. The faucet won't turn off in the in the bathroom, the hallway bathroom. Um, but I can't, I open up under the, under the cabinet. There's no stops there, and the house stunk. As soon as I opened up the basement door, I realized why it stunk. The main sewer pipe has been backed up, and his feet of raw sewage in the basement. Uh, yeah, um, I ended up calling social services and like Department of Aging and things like that, but nothing. I don't know what happened. Any family pets constantly bother you on a house call? No. No, not really. Just helicopters. That, that one, that one house. Does it really suck living in New York? Um, <laughs> it's, that's a question, believe it or not. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, def it's, it's a very liberal state. You know, fortunately, where I live on Long Island, it's, it's, it's red. Nassau and Suffolk County is considered uh, Republican, uh, you know, counties. Uh, and we don't follow, you know, we do, but, you know, it's still, it's, it's messed up. But I'm actually going to relocate, you know, as a, as a, 
I guess, uh, residency to Florida in the near future. And I'm going to take Peter with me. Right? Florida. Yeah. yeah. Florida? Why? Uh oh. You just well, Florida sucks? Why does Florida no, no, suck? No, no. It's New York. Oh New York, yeah, New York sucks ass, yeah. I live in Queens. AOC is a terrorist. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My plub plubition. Plub I like Long Island if it wasn't a part of New York. Yeah, me too. No Long Island should separate I'm from New York Island. State. They would. They should. All right. So, um, it's kind of hard to keep this live stream going, but, um, I guess we'll keep it going. How's the other, how many people are watching the other one? Um, I think we have 80. Yeah. So 80 there, 84 here. here. Florida. What? Florida. No, it's expand. Like I was gonna do with South Carolina. I was just gonna expand the services. What with that? Uh, Conrad and I couldn't work out an agreement. You know, I'm trying to be politically correct on YouTube. Um, I you know. Listen, he's, uh, you know, he you know, he wanted one thing, I want another. And he wanted it simple, I wanted it simple, but uh, whatever, it didn't work out. So now I'm fully licensed in South Carolina for plumbing <laughs> and HVAC. And, um, yeah, maybe one day I'll use it. Never know, but I'm going to Florida. Because Conrad distracted me. I was going to Florida. That was my goal. And he called me, he said, let's, why don't you make a pit stop in South Carolina? And I said, okay, let's check it out. We had a lot of fun. Filter dry going inside. That's where it belongs. Very nice. Now he's going to braise. He's going to braise. Wow. Is it dry? Yeah, maybe I'll get refrigeration technologies to send you some uh, wet rag. It's beautiful. Look at this beautiful install, by the way. Do they? Yeah, there's mouse everywhere? All right. Yeah, the effing mice. Field mice. Well, I got the back door wide open. Let's see what's going on outside. Very, very nice. That thing is still going. I smell the burnt plastic. Yep, so here we are. Got the neighbor on the tractor. He'll be coming up. Vandegrift. Vandegrift, Pennsylvania. Mike, you make us tradesmen look good, good again. Thanks. I am a handyman from Suffolk. I love your channel, your humor, and generosity. Long Island strong. Thank you. Thank you, Ben the Handyman. Give the man a small, a smaller pipe cutter. Check the arrow on the filter dryer. <laughs> GMC uh, Mechanical Services. It's a heat pump, so the arrow is in both directions. I'm trying. I think you're being sarcastic. Make sure you check the arrow on the filter dryer. <laughs> and uh, we have Kevin holding up the uh, the Bosch IDS two. Keep <laughs> holding up the. <laughs> And what's up with your septic uh, vents? What are these? Are these vents? No, those are tanks. If we open those up, you get to see what's inside a septic tank. We don't want to do that. Come on. How have you got to pump it out? Every two or three years. You ever use a product called BioClean? No. It eats poop. Organic waste. That's what those packs are supposed to do that are on top of the hot water. Wow. The neighbor's down there mowing. We'll have to ask him if we can Can I take your tractor and go for a ride? What? Off-roading? You have an ATV? We should have an ATV going in the woods. I can go up and get my... I can go up and get Jared's dirt bikes if you want. So the, um, the wood posts, that's your property line. Yeah, that's my property line. And, it's, and, and the hogs. Is that eighty thousand dollars really? Oh yeah. All right, I'm just going for a stroll. It's like sixty-five degrees out today. It's beautiful. Look, they have a white trash pool. It's a little damp here. Horses. Wow. Do I just have to look you up on PayPal? Um, I am going to try to get a link right now. Hold on. Let me uh, 
Peter, hold on a second. Let's let's see if I could. Okay. So I just sent you the QR code, guys. If you want to donate, there's a QR code. Feel free to pause. Right there. Yep. Feel free to pause. That is a QR code to donate on PayPal. Feel free to pause. That's to donate to the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy Organization. It's a I'm a nonprofit. Nonprofit corporation registered in New York State, and I have 501c3 status pending with the IRS. It's applications pending. It just takes, you know, several weeks, apparently. That's the QR code to donate. Bacon! Whose horses are those? That house right... No, no. See the haters. Dude has all that land. By the way, it's he's the... He's the 42-year-old autistic son, right? His mother, if you guys, you know, I should have to bend this, but I'm going to feel, I'm going to, I'm going to, his mother had a tragic fall, a fatal fall down those steps right there in that house about four months ago. His father, hardworking man, he really can't, you know, it's hard. It's hard, right? He knew the reality. And he sent me a letter. You know what? And if you want to effing judge, then you know what? Then who are you? Are you God? And that's my car. He said three cars. That's my rental car. That's Justin's car, and that's Craig's uh, vehicle, right? So get your head in order. And here's my car. And here's your car. And you can see with the autistic license plate. Yep. You see? So if you want to hate, feel free to hate, but I don't like that stuff. Yeah, I got a can. I got. There was a question, not a judge. Okay. No, I'm not gonna block him. But you know, snap back gamer. Maybe donate. Donate to the cause. Yeah. Got a nice piece of land here. Very nice. So, one shot outdoors. That's the QR code. We want to donate. And um, the bacon I know the bacon grease. I'm st I'm hungry. You want some bacon? No, it's pork. I don't eat. You know, come on, I'm a Jew. I don't eat. I don't eat bacon. At least not on. At least, no, Taco Bell's far. It's kosher. Rabbi Rabinowitz blessed himself. You know, you know the Rebbe Rabinowitz. Can we stop by the shop to say what's up and get a sticker? Absolutely, Mo o Omar Ali. Um, I'm generally in the shop uh, 6.50 to 7.20 every morning, Monday through Friday, normally. You may want to call ahead. Um, Mikey, if you can't talk and work, then don't talk. Cheers from Long Island. <laughs> okay. Blocked it. I know. But uh, we're cleaning the, the area for the... Outdoor condenser. We're just about done inside. We gotta do the fresh air. And we have to be out of here in an hour and a half. Out of here. What? Out of here in an hour and a half. We have to we have to leave here by 245. Because it takes an hour let's take about an hour or maybe a little over an hour and we have to check out at four o'clock. So it should be should be quick though when we get there. It should change real quick. It should, yeah. Yeah. Should shower shave, right? <laughs> you get to did Peter get to wear his cologne? Did you get yeah. to wear your cologne? Daniel just asked. Oh, really? Did you wear? DC, yeah, yeah, I sprayed the, uh, the Axe one. Because, yeah. so, first time I went to TSA, when I went to Tennessee, yeah. I didn't realize that there was a certain restriction. You couldn't bring Size, yes, yeah. three ounces. So I brought less. my Gucci cologne that I spent way too much on, and TSA took it away from me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that, here we go. Hey, right. you want to go to Taco Bell? How dare they? No. No, I'd rather get this done. Okay. Yeah. I need to clean this up. Mikey Pipes, another question about shop. Can we stop by yes, with a bottle for a pour? Yes, absolutely. If it's in the afternoon, short, th short thing. Absolutely. Okay. 81 thumbs up and 69 people watching. We've been live streaming for 63 minutes. 64 minutes now. Huge shout out to Craig and Justin from Precision Heating, Cooling, Heating and Cooling Services of Plum, Pennsylvania. Guys, if you're just tuning in, um, hey, how, do you get, uh, how do you get your light to come back on? If you're just tuning in, Keith saw my YouTube video on the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy channel last Sunday. Within an hour, he reached out to me and goes, Listen, Mike, I'll donate the time. I'm your contractor to install the system for you. We uh, hopped on a plane. 
here a week later. Peter and I are here now, and I'm basically I'm just here just for I guess moral support. I'm not we're not really helping. We did a little bit, but I hope I'm not being trying to be in the way like Keith is being a helicopter. But <laughs> helicopter Steve, helicopter Steve, you know, and he blames it on autism, so I guess uh, he's exempt. <laughs> But here we are. Bosch uh, Thermal Technology donated the outdoor unit. All the material, by the way. The outdoor unit, the indoor unit, uh, the evaporator, the furnace, um, all the material needed. And a special shout-out to the people over at RE Michael, especially in Monroeville, Pennsylvania, which is where all the equipment came from or got shuttled into uh, for today's install. So big shout-out to people at Bosch. Hashtag love Bosch. Let's go Bosch. Thank you for being a sponsor of not only the Mikey Pipes YouTube channel, but also the Mikey Pipes Philanthropy uh, channel and the charitable organization, which I established when I hit 100,000 subscribers on my main channel. And here we are donating our time, our, our, our money to get here, and um, we're just trying to make the trades great again. Okay, let me shut up because I talk a lot. Can we burn something? Hmm? Can we burn something? I want to burn something in there again. Oh, all these dead flowers? Yeah, dead flowers. It's take a while to ignite. Yeah. It went through all the cardboard. There's got to be something else combustible. Um... Oh, piece of wood. Peter. All that. Throw it in there. Let's go. <laughs> I wonder if this is some kind of drain. What is this? And should I have drain about? Gutters? No, there's no gutters here. Oh, there is a gutter there. It goes over there. Is it still burning? Oh, ah, it's a hot tub. Bitch, put it in there. It goes on fire. Blowing. Yep, look at it. There it goes. See, shriveling up, shriveling up like an old man's uh, junk, like Kevin Durant. <laughs> All right. Kevin Durant, you know, KD. <clears throat> What are you doing with that air filter? You need it clean. Okay. Peter, how are we doing over here? Is he purging with nitrogen? Yes. Yeah, of course. It's outside, bro. Of course we're purging with nitrogen. Fun watching the job today. Looks like it's going well. Very cool, Mike. Thank you, chatter cat. Five and a half hours. That's bizarre. Yeah. Sure, one, huh? Yeah, yeah, I've never been this long. Because even when we do a boiler, it's like. Ended at like noon. Yeah. Yeah, you guys do more. You think you guys work fast. Yeah. You guys got a lot of. Well, we have a uh, nicely oiled ship. You do. And everyone, everyone works does their position. <clears throat> Except Mike sometimes, the other Mike. I used to, Left I the oiler in the shop. And he's he's oiling the, 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 the with the threader with WD forty like an idiot. Oh, oh man, no wonder why my machines are falling apart. <sighs> well, you, you cut a lot. Of, you cut and throw a lot of pipes. Not that much. I, now, I, now, now that mega press. Yeah, so now we do mega press gas too. Well, they have little stuff, you know. It's, yeah, so, I mean, it's all a full length, so you know. It's... I ran some gas in for my neighbor, and I said you don't have to be, you don't have to be a plumber to do it. Nope. This fucking area. Nice clean install. Look at this beautiful, beautiful clean install. And really, a, a quick note about the um, the pad under the under the equipment. The um, let's say I gotta change out the furnace. And the coil's fine. Well, guess what? You kick that out, it'll drop down a couple inches, and you have plenty of access. And that's... <laughs> I love it. And you also put a little box underneath, a return platinum box there for just capture more air. He's used to installing American Standard Train and the, the configuration of the blower because it's a sealed blower compartment. Um, you're kind of limited with space there, so he's not used to doing that. And I actually like it. Keeps it elevated a little bit more higher, and it's easier to service. You know, you're not really on the ground ground, so it's nice. Nice little touch. And the nice transitions he made. 
Very, very nice. Fits like a glove. Beautiful. Yeah, condenser. Sweet. All right. Just got to do the exhaust. Save the best for last. It's easy. It's PVC. That's fine. It used to be my least favorite thing to do. What would you normally charge for a system like this, by the way? Um... I already saw the the sixty thousand sixty thousand BTU furnace and a heat pump. You're probably looking at American Standard. If it was a, let's say it was a fourteen, let's say it was a fourteen CR. I don't know what their CR ratings are, but it's high. It's high. So that's yeah. a, that's a two. Was that a two stage? It's it's sixty speeds. Oh. It's inverter. Oh, that's an inverter. Yeah. Shit, you're probably looking at eighteen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and so in New York, I would I would uh, sell this for between twenty two and twenty six, depending on you know uh, accessibility and line set and things like that. But yeah, so yeah, not too far off, and we're in sticks of Pittsburgh. And that's why I don't sell them because no one has. The yeah, it's it's it's, it. it's a hard uh, it's a hard sell. Yeah, it, you just don't you know. Don't, yeah. Yeah, but if you're using the dual fuel and you're using uh, solar panels in your roof, this is an easy sell. It's an easy sell. Especially if you get, to, you get, you know, if, you know, people, you know, there are companies that have to do 60 months, five years interest refinancing. Well, guess what? You know who's paying for that? The end user, the homeowner. Because, you know, the bank's charging 20% premium for that and it gets added to the bill. You know, so even if you're getting, oh, oh, Mike, uh, the, my contract gave me five years interest refinancing. Okay. You know, let me, let me bend you over again. Let me, sh you know, shove it right in there. So ours is very simple. I do 18 months. I, Go do, ahead. I do 12. Oh. 12 months. And you pay 4% probably. Zero. So we, we do ze I don't pay for it. So Who pays for it? Well, here's what happens. So um, when I was looking for financing, uh, we reached out to almost everybody. Yeah. We got, we got hooked up with Wells Fargo. Okay. Um, I think they're I think they're a bunch of criminals. <laughs> and, um, I deal with synchrony. So what they were doing is they were charging me to give them business yes. percentage and then they were hoping that they were offering anywhere from 12 months same as cash to you know five years same as cash but it was like they charged me a percentage based on what the what the company or what the what the homeowner needed now um you know the homeowner defaults on the loan they go they go back to day one hit them for 29 percent so i'm like fuck that. yeah I said, fuck, that's not fair. I yeah. said, How can I offer that? So we got hooked up with a local bank. It's Dollar Bank. And they have a contractor program. And it offers 0% for 12 months. It's very simple. 0% for 12 months. Whatever you pay off in the first 12 months, that comes off the principal. And then it, it bumps up to 14.24%. Oh. Very simple. I mean, it, 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 it's... And they don't charge you anything? They don't charge me anything. A dollar bank. Nothing. 12 months interest refinancing. If you don't pay it off in 12 months, then they start accumulating 14% interest on whatever the balance is after 12 months. That's actually, it's not occurring, recur, uh, uh, um, what's it called? Well, it's recurring from day one. That's what, that's what a lot of these banks do. Like if you default, you get 26 point or 29.99% interest, interest from day one. Yeah. And now that's why you get hurt. That's, yeah, that's why I didn't go with, uh, that's why I didn't go with, uh, Wells Fargo. Well, we did for a while. We were paying for that program. I just couldn't in good conscience offer that. Yeah, I hear you. So, the where? How does Dollar Bank make their money? Let's hear. You when you go apply for a, a loan for, you know, a heating system, you open up your books to them, and they look at it and they says, "Hey, look, we can consolidate all your debt into one." So that's how they. Ah, so, smart. It's smart, but you know, it, it says all no cost, you know. Yeah, very smart. Yeah, that's how they make their money. They, they get you. And we'll cover that later. Like that. Very nice. Wow. You want the colors, don't you? Yeah, what do you got? Hold on. Let me uh, close out of this. And... Okay. Any comments? Let me get that QR code one more time. Okay. QR code. Peter. Someone said, what do you think about John Phillips talking about wanting a cage match? Do you know who that is? With who? I know John. Uh, He's a YouTuber. Yeah, the big fat ugly guy. Huh. He looks like Fetterman. Here's that QR code. Guys, there you go. There's a QR code. If you want to uh, donate, there it is. He looks like Fetterman. 
should give it to them too, by the way. Okay, good. There's a QR code. All right, there it is. <laughs> it's like we're selling Peter, by the way. <laughs> it's Peter. <laughs> it's awesome, by the way. <laughs> Peter, there's your QR code, highest bidder. We'll sell your virginity. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know, you go to Eastern Europe, you go for top dollar. <laughs> Solar panels from China have to be replaced every 10 years. By year seven, the panels are only 60% effective. Okay, Omar, thumbs up. It's on the other channel. Let's go back and pause it. Let's get the QR code. Thank you, guys. Yeah, so the brown was W Y two stage two cooling, okay. and the orange was W two. Okay. I don't normally ever use those, so I just whatever. I don't know what normally is, but black I know, I know is always O B, right? Okay. Or is it brown O B? Like, oh yeah. Yeah. Huh. Um, because the trains are orange. Ah. Uh. And then we don't need. Yeah, train uses orange. Which one is that? That's a th two thermostat? Hmm? That's two thermostat? Two? No, that's two th that's two the thermostat? This is that this is Oh okay, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. oh, you know what we didn't think of? Surge protection. Oh man. You know it's a new NEC code now? That whole house is on a panel upgrade needs to have whole surge protection for the whole house now. Did you know that? No. Yeah. So the Mitsubishi, uh, the Mitsubishi hyper is, heat speed thing. They have internal surge protection. Really? So what? So what happens when the surge protector goes? You've replaced the whole unit. <laughs> I put a surge protector on anyways. Yeah. yeah. I like the. We use the one by Rector Seal. The nice thing. Oh yeah, those are like two hundred fifty bucks. No, 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 not that. No, Eighty bucks. The S, whatever it's called, the little black little uh, module. No, 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 like the S, oh, something 50. It's like 80 bucks, 90 bucks. Keep the Greek. Yep. All right, guys, I am tired of holding the phone here. I got to call my attorney and fight him. And uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that thumbs up button. Hit back to the other uh, Mikey Pipes uh, live stream. Much love.